I told you. <laughs> I told you. I told you. I told you guys. Welcome back to No Filter MMA. Sorry, guys. I was so tired last night. I couldn't make a video. I was barely even keep my eyes open for the fights. Well, listen, guys. Juliana Miller takes this thing all the way. She takes this thing all the way. I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all because the style, once again, it goes back to just the same thing over and over and over. It's the style. For me, the biggest difference in, in this fight with Brogan and Juliana Miller was just it was just the style. Like, Brogan Sanchez tried to go out here and fight Juliana Miller's style. She tried to be heavy in the clinch, tried to put some pressure on Juliana, you know, tried to take her down, tried to lock up submissions. And for me, it just didn't look like it was it was coming naturally to Brogan Walker. You know what I'm saying? Brogan could have done what Brogan does, you know, and what everybody was expecting Brogan to do, which was, Keep Juliana at distance, you know what I'm saying? Stuff the takedowns and land big shots. And that is not what Brogan Walker did. You know what I'm saying? She tried to clinch up with Juliana. She tried to wrestle Juliana. And Juliana Miller just stayed patient the entire time. Like she didn't let any of that like phase her. She didn't let any of that like deter her from what she was doing. You know what I'm saying? She just stayed patient. And, and, I'm a little disappointed that there wasn't more striking in this fight. I was hoping to see more striking because, you know, that's what Brogan Walker does. Because I was really wanting to see if Juliana had prepared for that. But what we saw, you know, kind of was the same thing from Juliana. You know what I'm saying? That, that that hard jab is really what we saw. You know what I'm saying? And Juliana stuck Brogan with that jab a couple of times, but not a whole lot of times. Um... The most strikes we saw here really was from ground and pound when Juliana would get on top on ground and pound here. You know what I'm saying? She was landing, you know, at, at going into round two, Brogan was already swole up and, and eyes shut, eyes closed. And, you know, it was it, it was bad. I mean, it just wasn't looking it wasn't looking good for Brogan. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she Juliana just elbows to the face and just, you know, what I'm saying just punishing Brogan. You know what I'm saying? But Brogan talked all that shit about Juliana. You know what I'm saying? Like, not trying to get into that side of it, but, you know what I'm saying? Brogan talked some shit about Juliana. You know what I'm saying? A lot of girls in the house talked shit about Juliana. You know what I'm saying? They just didn't think she could compete. You know what I'm saying? Caitlin Neal, especially Caitlin Neal. You know what I'm saying? She talked shit. You know what I'm saying? And then look what happened to her. Like, you know what I'm saying? Listen, you girls, all those girls in that house... You know what I'm saying? They may have been more skilled and had more experience than, than Juliana Miller, but they didn't have the fight that Juliana Miller had. They just didn't have. They didn't have that level of go after that Juliana Miller has. They didn't have it. It's it's really just as simple as that, y'all. They did not have it. Brogan, at the beginning of this fight, she tried to go after Miller. Like, she tried to she tried to be physical in there with Juliana Miller, and it only lasted so long. Like, you know what I'm saying? It only lasted so long. Juliana Miller was going to find a way to drag her down to the ground. You know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, what's weird about this season of The Ultimate Fighter is they didn't have any of the other girls fighting, which I think is kind of weird. Like, have some of the other girls fighting on the card, like some of the hopefuls, like they did with the Nico Montano season. You know, Montana had a fight on there. Jillian had a fight on there. A couple of other ones. Uh, you know, Rachel Ostevich had a fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, let some of these girls come in. Let the let the, let the the girls who all made it past the quarterfinals, I think, you know, let them fight. You know what I'm saying? Let let Caitlin Neal fight. You know what I'm saying? Other You know, other than the quarterfinal girls, let Claire Guthrie fight. You know what I'm saying? I want to see these girls. It should We should have saw... Really, like, we should have saw, like, Caitlin Neal versus, you know what I'm saying, Marina Morose or somebody like that. Like, we should have seen them face an unranked girl. Then that would have been much, much doper. You know what I'm saying? But maybe they'll give some of these, some of those flyweights the, uh, you know, short notice opportunities to get in there and fight. But, 
Guys, Julian, I, I do. What do I expect from Miller? I expect Juliana Miller to take all in any smoke that comes her way. I don't think she'll bat an eye at any name thrown in front of her. I think she'll go full fledged at this flyweight division, and these girls better be better beware. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the No Filter MMA League of Champions. And that is to Juliana Miller. Welcome, Juliana the Killer Miller, to the No Filter MMA League of Champions, guys. And I'm telling you, watch the hate grow. Watch the hate grow for Juliana Miller. Everybody likes Juliana Miller. You know what I'm saying? But watch the hate grow. You know what I'm saying? Because she's going to talk her shit. That's the thing. She's going to talk her shit. And then everybody's going to hate her. Just like Casey O'Neill started talking her shit. And then everybody hates her. But anyways, fantastic fight, guys. Good grit, good um, level of go after, and great kill switch. All of that that I see in Juliana Miller. You know what I'm saying? She's got the kill switch. You know what I'm saying? She's got the pressure. She's got the go after. You know what I'm saying? And she's got the skills. She's got the skills to back up. She's got the accolades to back up. Listen, you can call a fighter. You can say a fighter sucks all day long, but you got to check their accolades. What have they done? What have they done? You know what I'm saying? People's opinion of a fighter and opinion of a style, it is what it is. But what has that fighter done? That's the question. What have they done? (laughs) What have they done? That's what it comes down to is what have they done? Man, that ground and pound finish by Juliana Miller was something spectacular. She hurt her. You know what I'm saying? And not very often do you find somebody like Juliana Miller who's, you know, as tall and as long as her limbs are, you know what I'm saying, but knows how to pump a jab out there and stick you with a jab. You know what I'm saying? And doesn't get hit that much. Like, her defense, she does get hit, but she doesn't get hit as much as you think she would get hit for somebody with bad defense. You know what I'm saying? I mean, simple as that. Like, you know, it, the biggest hole in her game to me is her defense. You know what I'm saying? And, and for that to be her biggest hole, she doesn't get hit that much. Juliana Miller went, went out here and utterly and completely dominated Brogan Walker as if Brogan Walker was, you know, had the same amount of fights as she did. You know what I'm saying? So what, what really what really weighs more, guys? Like, what really weigh, what really weighs more? You know, is it experience or is it go after that's the huge question here. Like, what, what, what's more beneficial, experience or go after? You know, if these these fighters with these young records, if they just if they tell these older these older girls with these established records, I'm just gonna go after you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, see if you can stop me from pursuing you. I will break you. You know what I'm saying? If these girls continue to do that, that's 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 how they win. That's how you win. You know what I'm saying? That's how you beat a Chukagian or you beat a Jennifer Maya. You beat a Lauren Murphy. You know what I'm saying? You you just have, they just have to go, 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 go. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, guys. Let me know how you feel about Juliana Miller getting the finish over Brogan Walker. This is, oh, excuse me, and winning <laughs> season 30 of The Ultimate Fighter. This is your boy BJ back in No Field Chimmy May. Drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like. Hit that dislike. And if you guys haven't already... Hit that subscribe button and your boy is out. Shout out to Juju.